Hey everybody, Cliff Ravenscraft here with Podcast Answer Man, and I want to show you a tutorial on the iJingle Pro app for the iPad, which is an app that I've been using recently to play all of my audio clips for all of the podcasts that I produce. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to take you to the App Store and show you where you can find this app. So the first thing that I want to do here is I want to go ahead and do a search for i jingle pro and so as soon as i typed in i j i n you'll see that in the drop down list you see i hyphen jingle pro and so we're going to go ahead and click that and as soon as this pulls up in the store you're going to need notice that on the top left you see it says i jingle pro in the top middle it says i jingle 2.0 and on the top right, it says iJingle Webcaster. Now the particular app that I'm going to be using for this tutorial is the one on the top left called iJingle Pro. Now it doesn't show the price there, but I believe it's $10.99 at the time that I'm recording this app. And of course you would then choose to download it. And as I go to the home menu on my screen here, you'll see down in the dock that I do have iJingle Pro loaded up there. Now I've Got it set to where it's blank, just like it would be if you were using it uh, for the very first time. Now also down in the dock, you're gonna notice that I have in between the App Store icon and the iJingle Pro icon, you'll see that I have the Dropbox app installed on my iPad. Now it's the Dropbox integration of iJingle Pro, which is really what sold me on this application. It's what makes it so easy to get audio clips from my computer over to my iPad to be used in the iJingle Pro app. Now I'm going to assume here that you already know how to use Dropbox, and if not, there are plenty of tutorials online that show you how to install Dropbox on your computer and how to set up folders, and, and they're synced between all the different devices and accounts that you have with Dropbox. Anyway, one of the things that I just wanna show you is that first of all, for you to be able to use the Dropbox integration on iJingle Pro, you will need to have the Dropbox app installed on your iPad, which by the way, Dropbox is free, and you'll need to be signed in. So if you're not already signed in, you'll need to open up the Dropbox, type in your username and password, and log in. Now you can see because it opened right up, I'm already logged in. And over there on the top left-hand corner, it says Files, and you'll notice that the very first folder I have is called 00-audio clips. And I put the 00 in front there so that it does actually pull that up at the very top. But anyway, I just needed to confirm that I was logged into my Dropbox app. And now that I know that I am logged into my Dropbox app, I can go ahead and close it. All right, so now we're ready to open up the iJingle Pro app. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap the icon and it's gonna load up. And various different times when you open this app, you're going to get you know, these different kind of advertisements. Now, I could just click the X there on the bottom right of the screen, but before I do that, I'll just go ahead and click that little thing that says, do not show this again. All right, and then I'll go ahead and click the little X and that disappears. And so now what we have is a blank canvas. Now before I talk to you about what any of the buttons or rows at the top do, uh, the very first thing we want to know is how on earth are we going to get audio clips into this application? It's the most important thing to know. Well, first thing I want you to see up the top right hand corner, there's a little gear icon and it's got the word settings above it. Again, this is the very top right of the screen. I'm going to go ahead and tap the gear icon right now and it flips things over and you'll see the back end or the dashboard of this particular app. Now I will say that this app is not necessarily intuitive right out of the gate, which is why I'm actually doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on showing you how to get these clips in. But once you know how this works, it is incredibly easy to use. So here we are in the settings panel and at the bottom left of the screen, you'll see a blue Dropbox icon. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click that blue box right now, and that's gonna pull up the Dropbox app, and it's gonna ask me, do you want to allow the iJingle application to access your Dropbox account? So there's the uh, account, or the allow button 
right there at the bottom and I'm just gonna go ahead and click allow. And there you go. Now it is showing me on the left hand side the Dropbox importer. This is inside the iJingle app again. And you'll notice that over there on the left it's got the list of all of my folders that are in Dropbox and the very first one of course is 00-audio clips. Now let me go ahead and just click the X to close that out. I'm going to go ahead and click the back button to take me back to the main screen. So now that I'm logged in, it's going to keep me logged in to Dropbox. And now that I'm kind of back at the main screen here, I'm going to go ahead and click the settings gear icon one more time. So that's at the top right. And here we are. Still, we have no audio clips. So let's now go ahead and click the Dropbox icon, the blue Dropbox on the bottom left of the screen. And now that we have clicked that, we don't have to sign in anymore. It's automatically gonna take us to our list of folders. And we want some audio clips, right? So let's go ahead and click on that 00-audio clips and see what's inside of there. Now you're gonna notice that there's a folder called bumpers. There's a folder called endorsements. And then there's also a family from the heart intro, family from the heart outro. There's a family from the heart Paul Young intro, a GSPN ID dot wave file. And yes, you can do WAV files, MP3 files, AIFF files, pretty much any kind of audio file. Uh, there are loops, there's lost folder for our lost podcast that we used to do. There's some podcast answer man clips. And so what we wanna do is we wanna choose some files to import. Now I could do these one at, a, one at a time, but let's go ahead and first start with the GSPN ID WAV file. And I will go ahead and also take my Podcast Answer Man intro. And uh, let's just go ahead and start with those. Now I have two different files imported and I'm not gonna choose anything else and at the bottom of this screen at the bottom right of this popped up window you see where it's got the blue Dropbox icon and it says import we'll just go ahead and click that import button and then it will take those right out of your Dropbox account and it will import them into what's called your trunk now afterwards you get a summary and you know I it basically says there are two files that were added and it says the names of the files that were added before I leave this screen and click the done on the summary, do you notice over on the left hand side, it's showing still the, the files that are in the folder, but you'll notice that the gspnid.wav file and the pam intro 45 second file, both of those are grayed out. And that's because this app automatically knows what files have already been imported. So there's no need to import them again. So I'm just gonna, on the summary window that popped over on the right, there's a done button. I'm gonna click done. And at the top right corner of this Dropbox importer window, there's an X. I'm gonna go ahead and click that X. All right, so now here on the left-hand column, we see this little thing that's called a trunk, okay? And um, the, the trunk is, let's just say, a default location where all imported clips are, are put into. Now there's nothing, as far as I know, you cannot play audio clips from the trunk or anything like that, or maybe you can, I've never really tried, I don't believe you can. You can select them and you could, it looks like, search for clips if you had maybe tons of them. But anyway, we're not gonna do any of that. The first thing we wanna do is to make a category and a category is gonna be how we choose what shows up on our main screen where we're gonna have the buttons to press to choose all of these different things. So the first thing I wanna do is wanna create a category for Podcast Answer Man. And so over here we have highlighted categories and it says tap to select a category or long press to edit. There's a trash can icon and there's a plus button. Let's go ahead and click that plus button. All right. And so here we are, we have the ability to add a category. Looks like we can do a category name here. So we'll go ahead and type that in or tap in there where it says category name here. And we'll do P A M. That's gonna be for Podcast Answer Man. And you know what, I like red. I could change it to green if I want. Actually, let's go ahead and do green. No, we'll do red. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and click done. And now, right below the trunk, if I click PAM, 
there is a PAM category and it has no audio clips in it. The trunk has two. All right, what I wanna do is I actually wanna take from the trunk, I wanna put those two clips inside of the Podcast Answer Man uh, category. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight GSPN ID, it turns orange. I'm also going to highlight the PAM intro, 45 seconds. Now because those are orange, that means they're highlighted. And it's the craziest thing, but at the very top right corner, not where it says sync, but right below sync, you have this little plus icon with some arrows. It's actually called a move icon, all right? Just to the right of the wrench. I'm gonna go ahead and click that move icon and it's going to, this is the move jingles uh, window. And it's asking me, okay, these are in the trunk right now. Where do you want to move them to? And I wanna go ahead and click on PAM. All right, and that's gonna take the two selected clips and it's gonna put them into the PAM category once I click the done button. So let's go ahead and click done. And now you notice the trunk has zero files, but PAM has two, all right? And now that we have those files in our PAM folder for Podcast Answer Man, we need to switch away from categories and look at presets. So on the left-hand side there, just to the left of the column, uh, you'll see where it says presets right underneath categories. So we tap that, and now we see that there are five columns, all right? Now, there, on, on the main screen, there are gonna be five columns with all of the buttons that you can select. And there is a way to actually choose three different presets for each column. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with the first column first, and we're gonna just use preset A right now. And so we have step one, select a column. Column number one is what we've already got selected. Step number two, we're going to select a preset. We're gonna start off with preset A. All right, and then step number three, we're going to select a category. And we are now going to highlight PAM. All right, and now once we have done that, at the top left-hand corner of the screen, there is a back button. And if you go ahead and click the back button, uh, it'll take us back to the main screen. Now, as you can see, the first column, even though we've created a category, we've created a preset, uh, it's still not showing anything. And that's because we have to actually choose preset A for that first column. And again, remember, I said this is not intuitive at first, but once you know how to do it, uh, it does become quite easy. So we have to double tap a little tiny icon in the little menu bar here, that little icon there. So we're gonna go ahead and double tap that. All right, and then over now, it, it's basically pulled up that top menu and it's revealing your category presets. And you notice how uh, the category preset A for column number one has a little highlight. What I wanna do is now click that and it will select whatever category we assigned to that preset, which brings the PAM category. So now I'm gonna click that little, remember the little button that I told you we clicked to reveal those presets? Now I'm gonna click it again, and it's going to hide those presets. And now we have our first buttons. And so if I want, I can go ahead and click on GSPN ID. I'll click that right now. Entertaining, educational, and encouraging content that makes a difference. This is gspn.tv. Join the community. And there you go. Now, if you notice that when you play a clip, any of the clips that are in that column, if you notice they're a little bit loud or a little hot, um, no notice at the very top of the column, it's got the speaker icon, and then it says 100%. Well, what you can do is you can put two fingers on the button at the same time and swipe up, all right? And so when we do that, you will see that it reveals a slider that uh, gives us some sets here. We can maybe turn the gain up a little bit. We can uh, uh, turn, you know, the, the pan it to the left or the right. We're not gonna play with those buttons, but we can bring the slider down so that when we play that clip, it's not as loud. Now, instead of 100%, we're at 49%, we'll click play. Entertaining, educational, and encouraging content. And what I'm gonna do uh, as, as I click it one more time, I'm going to go ahead and play with the slider and you'll hear the volume difference. Entertaining, educational, and encouraging content that makes a difference. This is GSPN.TV. 
Join the community. All right, so that right there sounds about good, right about 65%. And to get that slider to go away, I'm just going to go ahead and put two fingers on that button and slide down. Okay, so there we go. We have our GSPN ID. I also have my podcast answer man 45 second intro. Okay, and so we know that that works. Now let's go ahead and play with some other columns. And I'm gonna go ahead and import some more audio clips. So obviously we need to go to the icon at the right at the top and click settings. All right, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go back to our categories on the top left and we're going to add a new category. And for this category, we're going to type in the name and we're gonna do endorsements. Okay, and we're gonna make the endorsements green and we're gonna click done. Okay, so now if we click endorsements, we see there are no files, we need to go get some files. So of course to do that, we're gonna click the blue Dropbox icon on the bottom left and we're gonna to navigate to the endorsements folder and we have three different endorsements here, one from Gary Vaynerchuk, one from Leo Laporte, and one from my great friend also, Ray Edwards. And now at the bottom right of this window, we're gonna click the import button. And there we go, we click the done, we click the uh, X icon to close that out. Of course, those files did not go directly into the endorsements folder in uh, category. They went into the trunk because everything by default goes to the trunk. We're going to highlight all three of those files we're gonna click that little move icon at the very top right of the window there underneath the sync button. And we're going to tell it to move all of those selected clips to the endorsements folder. And we're gonna click done. And now if we click on endorsements, you see that those folders are in there. Now we're gonna to go to presets again on the left hand corner. And we wanna to move to column number two. Now that we have column number two, we're going to again select preset A and uh, step number three, we're gonna choose a category and this time we're gonna choose endorsements. And now that's all there is to it. There's no save button. You just go ahead and click the, at the top, very top, very left of the screen, we're gonna click the back button. Uh, and of course you see that that's still not there for column two yet. We're gonna click that little hidden, <laughs> very hard to find menu button in the very center of the screen uh, right above the third column of buttons. And once we have tapped that, we're going to choose category A on column two, and that's gonna bring those clips in. And again, we're gonna hide that menu by clicking that little button at the on the bar one time. And now, if I wanted to, this may sound very familiar, I might say, uh, Podcast Answer Man, episode number 455. <laughs> Entertaining, educational, and encouraging content that makes a difference. This is GSPN.TV. Join the community. Hi, this is Leo Laporte of This Week in Tech, and you're listening, <laughs> you're smart, to Cliff Ravenscraft. He is the podcast answer man. Okay, so one of the things that you'll notice, when I played the Leo Laporte endorsement, it automatically stopped the GSPN ID. You may not have caught it, but let me go ahead and do it again intentionally this time, and I'll cut them both short. Entertaining. Edu Hi, this is Leo Laporte of This Week in Tech. Okay, so obviously you saw that when I clicked the Leo Laporte button, it automatically stopped the first jingle from playing. Now, I actually have it set to where after they say join the community, it kind of just continues to flow for a little bit. And I'd like to go ahead and hit the Leo Laporte uh, jingle or audio clip before that is finished and it kind of has a nice transition. And then the same thing when Leo Laporte is be just before or right as soon as he says Podcast Answer Man, I want the, the Podcast Answer Man music to begin but not necessarily cut Leo off if I happen to overlap it just even by a half a second. Now the reason why it is doing this stopping of the previous audio clip when you press another button is because there is that's the transition that is currently set. Now at the top of the screen, in the very center, you'll see a section that says second touch. Now we're gonna ignore that for just a moment 
and we're going to look to the right of that and see the section where it says transition. And currently it has this orange icon where it basically says stop anything before and after and, and just only play the clip that's currently selected. All right, well, instead of doing that, we're going to click the little don't do anything for the transition. And uh, it's, so basically it's like the no smoking sign or whatever. Uh, basically, you're, you, you choose that icon. And now if I hit GSPN. Hi, this is Leo Laporte of Education. This Week in Tech. And now it'll let me play all my clips all at the same time. In fact, I could even do something really annoying. Hi, this is Leo Laporte of This Week in Tech. And you're so I could play them all at the same time. But I'm not going to do that. But here, now that I have that freedom, let me go ahead and do this. Check this out. Entertaining, educational, and encouraging content that makes a difference. This is GSPN.TV. Join the community. Hi, this is Leo Laporte of This Week in Tech, and you're listening, <laughs> you're smart, to Cliff Ravenscraft. He is the podcast answer man. Alrighty, so there you go. Now you saw how even even though Leo's bumper, his in, his endorsement wasn't finished, I had already started the the podcast answer man drums. Do, 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 do. All right, same thing. I'll I'll do it one more time with Gary Vaynerchuk. Hey everybody, this is Gary Vaynerchuk, and you're listening to the podcast answer man. All right, or my friend Ray Edwards. Hi there, this is Ray Edwards from rayedwards.com and there's only one guy I trust to answer my questions about podcasting. And that is of course, the podcast answer man, Cliff Ravenscraft. All right, so that gives you a indicator of how you can overlap and kind of make things kind of a, a nice transition. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some other jingles here and we're gonna create some new categories on the top left and I'm gonna hit that plus icon. I'll bring a blue color to my family from the heart. All right, we'll go ahead and click that. And let's go ahead and add that by hitting done. And we're gonna go ahead and hit another category and we're going to name this one SFX for sound effects. We'll make it yellow and we'll click done. All right, so we now have some additional categories. We're gonna hit the Dropbox folder down here. We're gonna bring in some other things. We have to navigate back. And uh, let's see, I'll scroll down to sound effects. And it looks like I have two different sound effects here. And so we'll go ahead and import those. And we'll click done and click the X to close it. And we'll go to the trunk where those obviously will be. And now we will, oh, I accidentally hit the search box there, so let's uh, get rid of the keyboard. I'm gonna highlight applause and whip, and I'm gonna click that little move icon right below the sync button. And I wanna change, or move that to the SFX folder, and we'll click done. Now before I do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and click the Dropbox icon, and I'm gonna go back, and there is Family from the Heart and William Paul Young, and Family from the Heart outro. So I'm gonna choose all three of those folders, our files. I'll go ahead and click Import. Okay, I'll click Done, close that window. Okay, and now here we are in the trunk. I'm gonna highlight all three of those files. Click the Move icon underneath the Sync folder. And we're gonna move that to Family from the Heart. Click Done. All right, we're gonna now go over to our presets. And we are going to now work with column three. And we're gonna do col uh, preset A, and we're gonna make column three, Family from the Heart. And we're gonna now move with column number four, preset A, and we're gonna make it SFX for sound effects. And now we're gonna click the back button at the top left and we are going to hit that little hidden menu button in the middle of the screen, and we're gonna choose preset A for column three, preset A for column four, and I'm gonna hide that by hitting that little hidden button up there again. Okay, and now that we have that, we're gonna click on the Family from the Heart intro, 
And before I hit the family from the heart intro, I think I'm already going to tell you that I believe this is much louder than most of my other clips. So let me go ahead and just for a sample of volume, I'm gonna click the GSPN ID for just a moment and I'm gonna click it again to stop it. Entertaining. Okay, and now I'm gonna click family from the heart. And yes, that is much, much louder. And the same is true for family from the heart outro. And the Paul Young. Hi, this is... Uh, the Paul Young is probably okay, but I certainly know that 100% on Family from the Heart intro is in, in the outro, the music is too much. But I told you before, we can double tap on, or a double, put two fingers on, let's just say the FFTH outro, and I'm going to swipe up, and that's going to reveal the slider for this particular column. Now this slider is not just for that button, this slider is for the whole column. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this thing down uh, probably to about 30% and I'm gonna click it and that is much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two, I'm gonna put two fingers on the Family from the Heart outro button and swipe down and that's going to now, uh, make it so that when I hit Family from the Heart intro, that is much more uh, in line with the GSPN ID. Entertain now, let's see if William Paul Young is going to be loud enough. Hi, this is Paul Young, author. Yeah, it's, it is. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that when I've clicked on a button once, it will start playing the clip. If I actually click the same button a second time, Give it a, giving it a second touch, it will actually stop the clip right now. So let me go ahead and do that for the Family from the Heart intro. Well. All right, and so there we go. Now if I wanted to, see at the very top menu, this time where it says second touch, right below it, it's got the stop icon with the rewind uh, icon right next to it, it's all highlighted there. And that means uh, when I hit the second touch, it's gonna stop it and go back to the beginning ready to be played again. Now, just to the left of that, or actually, let's go to the right of it, it's got the pause and play. So what I what that will do is the second time I hit the button, it's gonna pause it. So let me go ahead and hit Family from the Heart. Welcome to another episode. And now you'll notice that it's kind of flashing there. That means it's paused at four seconds, and now if I hit play, hit the button again, it's going to continue where it left off of the family from the heart a podcast that is devoted to giving you a behind the scenes look and of course you can pause it as many times and it'll continue to play right from where you left off let me explain to you where that functionality might come in very handy let's just say i had recorded a 10 minute audio clip from a news source let's just say i, I recorded some audio from a news report and i wanted to play it in my podcast and it's 10 minutes long but I wanted to add commentary at various different places. So I can hit the play button and at various different places, I can hit the button again or hit the, hit the button again. It will pause the recording and I can give some commentary. And I said, okay, let's continue on. And I can hit the button and it'll continue on, on again until I want to pause it again by clicking the button. And that's where that, but that functionality is uh, extremely valuable. So I'm going to change the second touch back to the stop and rewind and I'm going to click the family from the heart button again and it's going to stop and rewind it. There's also to the left of that there is the what we call the fade out button for the second touch. So, so now if I hit the family from the heart intro button twice the second time it's not going to stop immediately and rewind. It's not going to pause but it's instead it's going to slowly fade out. So let me go ahead and show that to you right now. <laughs> Welcome to another episode. Okay, now one of the things you'll notice is that it, it kind of faded out kind of fast. So what I can do is under the second touch menu, I'm gonna hold down on that icon and it's gonna give me the option to change the global fade time, either one second, two seconds, or three seconds. Now this is gonna change it for everything. I'm gonna go ahead and make it three seconds. All right, and then we'll just click that button. Let's go ahead and do that family from the heart again. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of The Family. And so you notice that it actually took three seconds for it to fade out. And obviously, it, you know, it cut off mid-sentence, so it's more noticeable there, but you get the idea. Anyway, and then of course, there is the 
start from the beginning, it's kind of like just refresh it again. So if I wanted to, it's not gonna stop. If I hit it a second time, it's just gonna go right back and rewind to the beginning and start over. Welcome to an... Welcome. All right, and of course I switched it back to the stop and rewind uh, functionality, which is the what I would typically leave it on. All right, of course, um, if you had, let's just say you had a ton of clips all playing at the same time, um, there is just to the left of the big clock there, you see where it says stop all, it's got the stop sign. So watch this, I'm gonna go ahead and click a bunch of different things. Hi, this is Leo Hi there, Laporte of is Weekend. Weekend. All right, and so I just clicked the stop button and the stop all button and it was able to stop all of the different tracks all at the same time. One other thing that I wanna show you real quickly is that you can add more buttons than what you see on the screen there. I think it gives me seven different buttons for each column. Let's go ahead and take a look at the endorsements button right now. You'll notice that it already has four, but it seems like there's only three more buttons that we can do. But if I go over to the settings panel and I go over to categories, let's go ahead and take the sound effects and I'll highlight both of those and I'll click the move icon and I'm gonna put that into endorsements. And then we'll go to family from the heart I'll take those two icons and click the move button and we'll put it in endorsements. All right, and then we're gonna do podcast answer man. Let's go ahead and take those, click the move icon and we will put those in endorsements and we click the done button. Now if I go to the back button, it's gonna take us to the main screen and you'll notice that now it has basically uh, just one column, but it has all of our buttons. But you can see that it has the ability to put to scroll up and down. And so if I wanted to, I could go ahead and click on the GSPN ID and do, uh, let's see here, the Ray Edwards and then my podcast, Answer Man. So let's go ahead and try that here real quick. Entertaining, educational, and encouraging content that makes a difference. This is GSPN.TV. Join the community. Hi there, this is Ray Edwards from RayEdwards.com, and there's only one guy I trust to answer my questions about podcasting, and that is, of course, the podcast answer man, Cliff Ravenscraft. And so there you go. I mean, I, I can't remember how many different presets he told me we could put in one column, but it's a lot. And so there's a, the functionality for you to be able to put the many categories in here. And one other thing, you can move columns from left to right if you choose to do so. So column two can become column one. And see where it's got the name endorsements up there and it's got the little speaker icon. If I click the little menu in between the, the volume level for column two and the name for column two, I'm just gonna press my finger down there and then move it to the left and now all of a sudden column two is now column one and that will automatically reflect the changes in the uh, advanced settings pane in the back uh, dashboard. Anyway, there's a whole lot more that I could show you about this app. There's features and functionality that's built deep inside of this thing that is incredible. There's looping and, and ducking and all of these other wonderful features that are built into the application. But honestly, what I've shown you here is pretty much what I use. And really this tutorial was to show you what I think was really the most important thing, and that is how do you import audio clips into this application from Dropbox, and then to understand that everything gets moved into that trunk, and then understand that once it's in the trunk, you have to put it into a category, and of course you have to create a category before you can put it in there, and then you have to assign that category to a preset, and then you have to find a hidden, a hidden menu uh, above the, the, the buttons to be able to choose that preset and it was like so unintuitive. But now that I understand how it works, it's super easy for me to figure these things out. And my intention with this tutorial was simply to completely eliminate the learning curve of how do you import audio clips how do you create categories? How do you move those clips from the trunk over to the categories? And how do you assign a category to a preset? And then how do you find those presets on this particular uh, page? But now you have all that information. And I hope that you enjoy the iJingle Pro application just as much as I do. 
Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this tutorial. Again, my name is Cliff Ravenscraft. I'm over at podcastanswerman.com. If you like this kind of information, these are the kinds of things that I'm sharing with my community on a consistent basis. I encourage you to check out my podcast on a weekly basis. I have uh, continued to give all kinds of insight on how you can take your message, your business, and your life to the next level. Thank you again, and until next time, I encourage you to take everything you do, including your audio jingle playing, to the next level.